I just walked up the stairs and lying on the ground right there was a little flyer for Frederiksborg Castle, the Museum of National History. Wow, where the heck is this? Oops. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock at night. It's Sunday night. Easter Sunday. I went to the grocery store. Closed! Just needed some milk to make quiche. Look at this place. Look at this chapel. On December, December 17th, 1859, fire destroyed most of the interior of the main building. And J.C. Jacobson of Carlsberg Brewery became the sponsor and he restored the roof and the spires and the interior that had been destroyed. Hmm. A free institution thanks to the funds of the Carlsberg Foundation. It took 25 years to get the money to rebuild this place. Let's see. The castle is named after King Frederick II who acquired the manor of Hillerudsham Hiller Hiller as it was then in 1560. The greater part of the present group of buildings is, however, the work of his son, King Christian IV. There he is right there, a pretty good-looking guy. I guess when you got tons of money and tons of slaves, you can be pretty good-looking. At least the carver that made his bust made him good-looking. King Christian IV, who built the castle in the period 1600 to 1620. He's probably dead by now. For many years, Frederiksborg was the favorite residence of the kings of Denmark, and throughout the period of absolute monarchy, 1660 to 1848, it's almost 200 years, coronations were held in the ornate castle chapel, which still today is the chapel of the Danish order of chivalry. The castle was thus the scene of many solemn ceremonies and royal banquets. To the Danish people, Frederiksborg became a symbol of Denmark's royal past. And if you have the time and opportunity, you're welcome to visit the Carlsberg Breweries by the Elephant, Elephant, hard to read, Elephant Gate. Hmm. Wow. Fire destroyed most of this interior. The massive outer walls survived, however. The spires and the roofs were destroyed. The interior of the chapel audience chamber were saved by means of funds contributed by the royal family, the treasury, nationwide collection. Wow. Quite the place. Well, we'll have to go to Denmark and check out this castle. Maybe we'll find some defects and we'll say junk. <laughs> hey, 400 years old, restored 150 years ago. It's still 150 years ago. High ceilings, I bet you. 20 foot ceilings. Six meter ceilings, seven meters, towers and spires. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's the elephants, the elephant gate. Oh, well. Have to go check this place out next time I'm in Denmark. Well, what I'm doing up here, I'm charging my phone, battery went dead. I heard a story today on on the media, on the media.org with the original inventor of the first handheld portable cellular phone. And he called and left a message and said, I, I, I need you to call me back on my landline because my battery's weak on my cell phone. The guy that invented the cell phone forgot to charge his battery. He said, yeah, we never figured that one out. It should be that you just lay it down on the counter near an outlet and it charges by magnetic. They have these charging mats I've read about. Some work better than others. Anyhow. We're going to finish this upstairs room for occupancy. This is above the apartment where Fruit Loops is working. Got some wiring here we got to do. Anyway, it's got this beautiful tug and groove wood paneling all aged to, to perfection. Like a piece of brisket, a piece of beef. Yuck. Unless my mother forces me to eat it. I really don't care for meat. So i got to pull all this down, all this nice TNG nailed in the tongue. Hard to see the nails, but they're there. I gotta pull all this beautiful wood down, destroy it, and then put some styrofoam to keep the air on the deck side of the roof nice and cold to guide the air from the eave up. Insulate, vapor barrier, and put this wood or probably some new wood back to 
shame to lose all this beautiful wood, but it's got to come down so that I can insulate and put in the styrofoam channels to keep the underside of the roof deck cold. Don't want to have icicles. What a shame. I really don't want to do this. I'm going to reach up in the air and beat on my shoulders. I've had a couple of cortisone shots over the years for beating on my body too bad. And that's what this requires. Overhead work, hammering with the cat's paw, pulling nails out, or using the grinder to cut them and catch the place on fire. Well, it looks real nice, but you can't occupy it unless it's heatable. And it's not heatable if all your hot air is getting sucked up to the outside. This wall's all right. It's an interior wall, but this is an exterior wall. Water leaks are all long fixed. New roof five years ago. Take all these boards down. They're nice and tightly nailed. Oh, what a shame. Found a nice Subaru identical to the one that's at Pisser's shop in St. Petersburg, Florida. South of Tampa, right on the tip. I was thinking of going to a Corvair show in Texas near Louisiana, Shreveport, Bossier City. Wait till Mrs. CW finds out about that. Same one as mine, same thing. Five speeds, same miles, same color. Needs tune up work or something. Spark plugs, power steering issue. I don't know. It's far away. 2,500 mile drive home. Yikes. A lot of work to do here. A lot of work. All right. Happy Easter. Happy celebrations. Passover and don't eat too much mutt so it'll constipate you. Don't have too many Easter candies. <laughs> I used to love those candies. Those days are gone. No more candies for me.